Thank you very much, Joe and Emma. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home of Maine's lowest camper and tractor prices. With locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. Alrighty, again, fog is the thing we have our eye on this morning, mainly near parts of Bar Harbor. We might notice it developing in a few other spots this morning. It's going to be very hit and miss with the fog, but this will taper off by later on this morning. But we are watching some rain showers that have been developing in a few spots, so especially across our southern counties and a little bit farther off towards the north as well. Other areas just under a mostly cloudy sky this morning. A lot of this tracking from the southwest going toward the north and east, so there will be some breaks as well, but a few scattered showers and thunderstorms will also be possible this afternoon as we'll get some sunshine going and get some of the daytime heating and of course chances for storms to develop along this front right here that continues to track off towards the north and east. But meanwhile though, we will catch a break from the precipitation for at least a few days coming up later on. Wave fights not too bad, no advisories in effect along the coast. Wave fights at about three feet at this point though. The winds will not be a big deal today, so the high wave heights should behave themselves mainly at around 5 to 10 miles per hour, maybe a quick gust up to 15 if you're lucky. But more winds, some more gusty winds on the way for the daytime tomorrow as they could possibly reach up to 25 miles per hour in a few areas. Our average high is now 74 degrees, will be in the upper 60s today, but middle to upper 70s on the way Tuesday and Wednesday, but, and still kind of sticking around there by Thursday and Friday as well, and then falling back into the lower 70s as we head towards Saturday and again on Sunday. Let's talk about the dew points, so they might feel a little mucky later on, though. We're going to be dancing around that 60 degree threshold for a few days, at least through today, though, maybe falling back Tuesday, Wednesday, and a Thursday. Then by Friday, rising up into the middle 60s, this will feel a little bit more muggy than falling back as we head towards your Saturday. So moving forward, though, future cast for today, a few scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. The thunderstorms starting to develop by around 4 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, moving from northwest to south and east. Heavy downpour is not out of the question with those. Winds will smooth through. Notice the cloud line. Some areas may become mostly clear. Other areas may hold on to clouds and a little bit of fog as well. But moving ahead towards tomorrow, maybe a few scattered showers and thunderstorms, not out of the question. But overall, a mixture of clouds and sun will be the general idea as well. As for precipitation chances, all right. So again, some areas, areas could see up to a quarter of an inch, maybe up to a half an inch or more between now and Thursday. So some decent rainfall on the way in a few areas. Scattered showers and thunderstorms today. High is in the upper 60s and a southeast wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tonight, lower 50s on the way, showers and thunderstorms, some dense fog as well from time to time. That west breeze getting up to about 5 miles per hour. And your Scotts Recreation extended forecast, more storms on the way for Tuesday, nothing too widespread. Highs in the middle 70s, upper 70s on the way for Wednesday, under a partly cloudy sky, mostly cloudy for Thursday, highs in the mid 70s, upper 70s again on Friday with a chance for storms.